Welcome to Coin Geek Backstage. I'm your host, Patrick Thompson, and I'm here with Philip Runyon. Phil, how are you doing? Uh, fantastic. Just came off the panel, had a great time. So you just participated in the panel about a lot of the intersection between healthcare and the BSV Enterprise blockchain. So why is that a good fit? Why is there a lot of synergy between what's going on in healthcare and what we're doing with BSV? Well, I don't know if you've noticed in the last 18 months, but there's a lot of issues around trust in things like vaccines where there shouldn't be. And so where we feel blockchain really slots in is this immutable timestamp ledger to validate data. And if we can all agree that a drug therapy uh, went through the proper channels and all the data is beyond questionable, we should be able to then feel comfortable ingesting these things instead of running to YouTube to find out that you know something may or may not fit your views. And, and that being said, what does Veridat do? Sure, Veridat is a data integrity platform for regulated industries. A cleaner way to say is uh, we capture data in real time as it's being created before anybody can get an opportunity to change it, whether they do that intentionally, whether it's accidentally. Uh, we capture that data, we create a hash of it, so a record of it, which then gets posted to the BSV blockchain. Uh, as part of that, it can then be verified at a later date. When drug companies go for approval of their drug therapies, they have to supply a lot of data around how did they get to this conclusion from preclinical trials all the way through clinical and testing on people. And so Veridad is really trying to streamline these processes, not just within uh, the uh, world of pharmaceutical. We're looking uh, at a lot of uh, fintech uh, opportunities right now, regtech, uh, the cannabis and hemp industries as well. There's so many opportunities to, to, to crack into these industries and, and provide a better experience, which streamlines their requirements, uh, but also it bolsters consumer confidence. Consumers should feel better. They should have trust knowing that the process that what was undergone in order to ingest, whether it's the therapies that they use, the financial services that they engage in, the tuna that's in their Subway sandwich, right? We should all be comfortable that, yes, this is what it is, and not just because somebody said so. And there are a few companies using Veridat on, at the moment uh, on stage. Jimmy alluded to some of the projects that you guys are working on. Can you share what's going on there with us? Sure. So we started in the world of uh, the uh, pharmaceutical testing, right? So Juvatech, which is also one of our co-founders company, is a contract research organization based out of Toledo, Ohio. They are currently utilizing Veridat uh, for their uh, projects uh, they, uh, that they participate in. We do have a large pharmaceutical partner uh, right now who, again, is less interested about uh, talking about uh, you know, being a poster child for us, which is totally fine, it's their prerogative. Um, we have a couple other pharmaceutical, uh, some uh, COVID vaccine manufacturers uh, that we are also talking with. And again, in the world of FinTech and RegTech, Sarah Script, Dennis Schroeder is here speaking at CoinGeek. He'll be talking about how they've integrated Veridat as a means of adding a layer of trust to their document workflow uh, that sits on top of SharePoint, which will uh, basically enable the full Microsoft community, uh, Microsoft 365 community, 200 million plus users. 85% uh, of Fortune 500s to embrace this technology as part of their document workflow as well as short and long-term uh, data storage. And just two questions here to wrap it up. The first is, what's next for Veridat? What do you have in store? What's being worked on in the pipeline? You know, the best thing about this space and this technology and how we've built it is that it can tap into many industries. We're not here to ask you to replace your current systems and your infrastructure. We want to say, look, you have all these disparate systems. We can easily tap into it. And that doesn't limit us to a particular industry. The more we talk about this, the more industry comes to us, which has been fantastic. This is uh, aerospace as a really good example. Automotive, uh, the, the, again, I mentioned the hemp and the cannabis industries. The more we talk about it, people go, ah, this is applicable to what it is that we're doing. And so we're not having to go out and try to find solutions for them. People hear this and they come to us and they want us to participate in their solutions. And my last question is, if there was one sort of general takeaway that you'd want the audience to know about the BSV blockchain and the intersection and overlap it has with healthcare, what would that general takeaway be? We can be doing better and we should be doing better. Uh, and I believe that it's technology like BSV uh, and blockchain technology uh, that will get us to where we want to be, to where we don't have things like, you know, where we can't trust the vaccines that we consume. Um, we deserve better. Phil, thank you so much for your time and thank you for watching CoinGeek Backstage.
Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.